You're talking uh, about uh, a big piece of uh, cultural news here in France today. Jean-Claude Carrière has passed away uh, near Paris. He was 89 years of age. He was a huge figure in French cinema and screenwriting. Uh, tell us more, Olivia. Well, as you mentioned, he is best known for screenwriting. He'd written more than 60 screenplays over his very long career, but he actually came from the world of literature with more than 80 published works, a bit of novels, poems, uh, or even essays, that sort of thing. In fact, his career got off to a funny and literary start. He was actually asked to write a book of a film. So it's quite back to front, this one. It's the book of uh, Jacques Tati's 1953 film, uh, Monsieur Hulot's Holiday, a very uh, successful, famous film. He didn't know much about cinema at the time, but he did a very good job and that was enough to get him noticed. And then at the Cannes Film Festival, where else, he met a Spanish director by the name of Louis Buñuel, which really marked the beginning of an important artistic relationship that went on to produce six seminal uh, French films, including Diary of a Chambermaid, The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie, and of course the very subversive Belle de Jour, uh, with a star turn from Catherine Deneuve in 1967, where she, uh, I, I would say defies everyone's expectations in that, that French classic. All right, well, I, I think I'm going to have a lot of French cinema to catch up on. This is, a, this is definitely giving me a, a desire to catch up on his, uh, his filmography. Uh, now, but he was also successful outside of France as well. He wasn't just a figure here within French borders. Tell us about that. Indeed. Well, so why that, while that uh, professional partnership was going on with Buñuel in the 1960s and the 1970s, uh, until the director's death in 1983, Guerrière had already started working outside of France, uh, writing some very important screenplays. For example, The Tin Drum for uh, Volker Schlondorf in 1979. The Unbearable Lightness of Being, which was directed by Philip Kaufman, the American director. The Condorin adaptation, I guess. Indeed. Yeah. In 1988, the film that they said would be impossible to make as a film mm. from the book. And he did it. He did it. <laughs> Goya's <laughs> Ghosts, uh, directed by Milos Forman. He actually worked with Milos Forman on that one in 2006. And he also collaborated with Michael Haneke mm. on the screenplay for The White Ribbon in 2009. Amazing movie. That one I did see. An yeah. incredible movie that won the Palme d'Or and also won other prizes for uh, screenwriting. Now, simultaneously... This man was also involved in theatre. He notably wrote the nine-hour stage version of the Mahabharata. Doesn't he make you feel very lazy? <laughs> <laughs> Bit, I must admit, the Indian uh, mythological epic. Well, that was with director Peter Brook, who he also worked with on Shakespeare plays, on a version of uh, Bizet's Carmen here in Paris, the opera. Wow. So fundamentally, he was always a writer, a literary talent. He even wrote lyrics for Juliette Gréco, Jeanne Moreau and Brigitte Bardot, no less. Uh, but he really brought that literary talent to the world of cinema and the world of theatre with fantastic very famous, notorious results throughout this career that spanned more than six decades. He was even honoured with an Academy Award in 2015. 80 screenplays. I wonder if he'd had a smartphone at the start of his career. 60, around 60 uh, screenplays 60. and 80 plus 80 literary publications. Point still stands. If he'd had a smartphone, would he have been as productive? I doubt it. <laughs> anyway, food for thought. Thanks for that, Olivia, and certainly uh, lots to catch up on.